all right what is up everybody welcome i am back with another video this will probably be the start of the end for the inventory series uh, i'm gonna try to wrap it up as quickly as possible uh, as i have a bunch of other stuff to do and other inventory series i want to do and we've been doing like 50 episodes of this so i'm getting a bit tired of it but i am back from vacation so plenty of more videos coming uh, there's a lot of comments uh, uh, since during the time that I've been gone, so I probably don't have time to read them all. So if you've been commenting bugs and there's stuff left, like bug-wise, that you want me to clean up, please report them so that I can do that before I finish up. Uh, this will be a quick video. Uh, I just found another bug uh, that I kind of want to fix. But otherwise, we are pretty much done. Uh, I won't do crafting systems and stuff like that because uh, then I would end up making the entire game for you. It's gonna be like 30, 40 more episodes for crafting systems and, and stuff like that. So uh, I will do that maybe in a separate video in the future. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's get going. Uh, I found a bug. So if I equip a weapon and press R to get it to my hand, it goes there. So let's fix that. And that is because inside of, uh, when we do this, uh, if we go into our uh, set weapon equipped function, we can't use the equipped weapon. We need to use the equipped main hand. Is that what we're going to use? So let's replace the references for that. And that should work again. So yeah, there we go. It is equipped. So I have a bunch, I noticed a bunch of questions about item functionality. And I'm fairly sure I did make a video about how we can do stuff with the items. You are going to have to figure some stuff out by yourself uh, to integrate this with weapon systems and other things. Uh, but for instance, if you want your weapon to work with attacks, so now we have a weapon in our hand. Uh, if you just go into your character, if you just go into your character and do uh, left mouse, Uh, we can get the inventory component and we can do um, get a equip main hand and so this is basically how you reference your items now and there's nothing that like what the way I set up the variables you just expand on that however you wanted to. So if we go to our master item, we have a bunch of variables here, right? You can add whatever variable you want. So this could be an attack. Attack number one. And I probably don't have any animations. So I don't have any imported animations. But what you would do is you would now get attack uh, get class defaults and you can just get attack number one. So in this case I would do play montage and I would just plug in attack number one. And we could do something like uh, switch on item type and you will probably only attack if the main hand is actually a weapon
and you would also check so that it's not equal to empty holder item. So basically, this is your playground now. You are free to expand upon it however you want to. Uh, or we can now see that if I press my attack button, nothing, nothing happens until I equip equip this I can attack uh, we probably should also only do it if we have if this is true as well actually we can probably do it like this so no attack doesn't work Attack still doesn't work and I equip it into my hand it now works so that means I am now executing the attacks and you would do your entire combo system or whatever you want to from here I'm not gonna do that in this tutorial so that's one way to do it um, the same with uh, and if you have a gun you would do the same thing like left mouse button maybe aiming you would do the same thing here. Check so that it is a gun. That is the item type that you made. And from left mouse button, we would do uh, play the aim montage or whatever. And now we can see that I'm aiming. It would probably be right mouse button though, which is usually the aim. So just to, if like if you're lost into how do how to to actually add functionality to this stuff, it's so uh, you have all of the variables. Uh, feel free to add whatever variables. Uh, where is my master item? Add whatever variables you could be here. It could be health bonus so whenever we whenever we equip an armor it's gonna be this health bonus that gets added I mean there are so many ways to set this up so you can do it however you want to there are plenty of ways and so for armor so basically you have the uh, uh, where is the component? You have all of these functions, right? So you know that these functions get called when you equip a weapon. So bonuses should be added here. Bonuses from items should be, or not say should, could be added here. And uh, and here is when we set the weapon equipped. Add weapon functionality from here, or actually no. Weapon functionality just reference, just grab references to your equipped main hand or equipped off hand or equipped whatever. So basically, whenever you want to do something in your character or something, just grab reference to the character, to the inventory component, to the actual item that you want, and then grab whatever variables you want by doing class defaults. You could do, there are so many things you could do to set this up. Uh, but I'm not making an entire game at this point. It's only going to be this basic inventory system. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video from being back uh, to kind of start wrap things up. We'll probably, probably be a few more with bug fixing. Uh, but this is going to be it for now. And I'm going to start planning some other things uh, that I want to make for the for future systems and stuff. Um, 
So yeah, that's going to be it for now. Just a quick video uh, when I'm back so that you can see that I'm alive. Uh, more coming. Cool. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.